Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing some brushes. Um, all these brushes I got for Christmas, and they're all from the same brand. Like, every brush I got for Christmas was all from the same brand, which was kind of interesting. And um, I really like this brand. I think it's a great drugstore brand, and they are some really high-quality brushes. So if you're wanting something that is on the cheaper side, but performs like a high-end brush, these are the brushes to go with. So, um, I have the Real Technique brushes to share with you guys today. I don't have every single brush. I have two of their kits and one single, and then I have their smudge, too. So, I'm going to, um, tell you guys my opinion on these. Um, I've used all these brushes for around two weeks now, um, and I really like them. I've been using each one every single day just so I can really get an opinion on them. The sponge I've had for around two months now and I am obsessed with it. It is my go-to sponge um, and my go-to uh, tool for applying foundation or any liquid products. Um, so I put all the brushes back in their original packaging just so you guys can kind of see how they look. Uh, but I have used each and every one plenty plenty of times and I only used these brushes to do this makeup look today so yeah let's get started let's start off with the sponge just because I've had the most experience with it it was the first thing I, I tried from real techniques um the sponge I don't have the original packaging for because I did get it a long time ago and I didn't think I'd need it but I will insert a picture of what it looks like in the packaging. You can also buy these in two packs, which I'd recommend quite a lot. Just because you're supposed to change your beauty sponge around every three months. Um, just to make sure it's like sanitary and it's not growing bacteria and stuff. So I have this little thingy majigger that I put my beauty blender in. And this is perfect because when it's wet and drying, I can actually set it at the very top and then it's not put in something and won't grow bacteria while it's drying. It's out in an open space, but still put away. So this is the sponge when it is not wet. It is pretty small. Um, as you can see, mine's kind of coming apart. I've had it for two months now, so I'm kind of getting close to getting a new one. Um, it's orange, it has a flat side, and then a pointy side like the beauty blender that you get like from Sephora. Um, I like using the flat side to press my foundation into my skin, and then I take the side and roll it all over my face. Um, I like this pointy part for any concealer spots or any spots around my nose, in this forehead area, you know, those little spots around your face and stuff like that. I really like this sponge for that. Um, I just think it's a great, great sponge. You can also cream contour with it. I've done that a couple times. Um, I love using, like, applying my powder with this. It's great for that because um, it, when it's wet, I always, always, always use this one. So now, this is the size, so compared to my hand, this is the size of the Beauty Blender when it's not wet. And I'm going to show you now how big it gets when it is wet. You guys saw how small it was compared to my hand. Now look how big it gets. It gets huge, and this will help you get more of your face done even faster. It leaves your face with such a beautiful, flawless look. I will probably do a whole video just on this, showing you guys exactly how I use it. It gets the makeup in every line. It covers your whole face, and it leaves it like looking like flawless. No streaks. It doesn't create fine lines. I love this thing so much. If you want your makeup to look as naturally milled on your face as possible, this is the uh, product to get. This retails for around 7 to $8, so really cheap compared to the um, actual Beauty Blender. And this is the closest sponge I have gone to that actually works like the Beauty Blender. So I'm not going to repurchase my Beauty Blender. I'm just going to buy this because this is good. On to the brushes. So let's start with this collection right here. So I have two kits and one single brush and I already showed you guys the sponge is just right here. Um, so let's talk about the core collection kit. One thing I want to point out, Real Techniques is a drugstore based brand and it is by uh, Sam and uh, Nick 
Chapman. They are sisters and wait, are they sisters? I think they're sisters. Um, they have a YouTube channel. I'll link their channel down below. They're the people who have made these brushes and they're magnificent. Here are them right on here. And they're so, so amazing at makeup and all this. And they did an amazing job on these brushes. Um, so on the back, it tells you what each brush is in a bunch of different languages. So that's awesome. You'll know exactly what they're for. So let's go ahead and I'll just show you. So it comes in great packaging, like really nice. Like this is just a plastic packaging. It says Core Collection right here. You pull it out. And then you have this little thing right here. Now, you can open this up. And what I am obsessed with is that these are perfect to travel with. Your brushes are nice and safe in there. And I've already um, gone places with these. I just throw them in my bag. And I don't even usually, I put like one or two of the brushes that actually came in here. And then I can put any other brushes I want. It's perfect. It's great. Other cool thing about this is that you can bend this and then you pull the back strand if i can show you okay. there we go and then boom you have your own brush stand this is so cool and you can also fit one more extra brush in here if you need to it's a perfect little kit that will you know you have a perfect place to display your brushes um it's just perfect i love this thing so much um okay so let's talk about each brush the first brush here is the buffing brush i am obsessed with this brush i use this brush whenever i need to buff in something whether it's moisturizer or whether it's foundation i did my foundation with it today i mean this is like filming this pretty late so i don't have like it's like kind of going away but like this brush buffs in product so beautifully because it is so uh, dense but not too dense that it leaves streaks it's the perfect amount to buff in product seamlessly I love it so this is the real techniques buffing brush this is one of my actual favorites when I got this kit I was like oh, I'm not gonna be using this when I looked at the kit I was like two of these brushes I'll be using all the time and this one wasn't one of those two but I've ended up using it as a uh, spot concealing and this is perfect if you really want to center it down to one pimple. This is what it looks like. It's really little, teeny, teeny. It has a really nice point to it. Um, as you can probably see, I really like it. So what I usually do um, is I grab some concealer. Usually it's a more yellow tone concealer just to kind of conceal those acne spots. And I just press it right on there, go in every single direction and make sure that um, acne spot is hidden and then around the spot I blend it out around this is also an amazing lip brush one of a kind um, it's big enough that you can really do your whole list but still have some room for detailing this is the brush that I use the least I personally don't like these kind of foundation brushes where you kind of just paint on the foundation it's not something I'm into I reach for this one for my to do my foundation all the time. I never use my foundation with this and every time I use a brush like this for foundation I just do not like how it looks and I end up using the buffing brush. What I do like to use this for actually though is when there's a foundation that I don't just want to stick my finger in so I use this and I put it on my face and then I take my buffing brush and buff it out that's a really good trick or I like to take some concealer on it and apply it right here and right here to um, take out fallout and so I get that perfect line look thing I also like taking some concealer and going around my lips with this. And the last brush is one of my most used brushes in this kit as well. So this brush here is the contour brush. I like this a lot for setting my under eyes. It's perfect for that. The perfect size for my eyes personally. It's great for setting my under eyes. This is the perfect brush also for contouring. You can really chisel those cheeks out 
or even just a slight bronzing if you really build it up you can definitely get a bronzing with this I really like the shape of it and it's perfect for that you can even highlight with this I really like it for that so this is very very uh, multi-purposeful so I think that is really great um, that's what I love about these brushes if you're kind of new to makeup it does help you by telling you what the brush is made to do but makeup is so personal that you can turn these brushes into anything you want and make them do whatever you want so for $20 you get four brushes and you can definitely find a use for all four of these um and even if you don't it's worth it just for a few of them, especially this buffing brush, this brush here, and this detailer brush will do you magnificent wonders if you want to really narrow it in and um, spot conceal some of those places or if you like using a brush for your lips. Moving on, we have the blush brush. Now this one I was so excited to try out. My brother actually got me this one. Um, make sure to check out his channel too. And it's pink, like what? It's beautiful and it's huge. Look how big this brush is now. It is a blush brush and I really like it for blush. Personally, I like really big brushes for blush. Usually people like a brush around this size to do their blush, but I usually reach for bigger brushes for my blush. And this one gets like, it's the exact uh, shape of my cheeks. So I can really get that blush right where I want it. And it's great for blending product out. Another thing I really like it for is bronzing. When I want a really big, bronzing like bronzing the whole face I can just really like and I'm done I also love this for powder or powder foundation I think it's great and because it's so big you can really get it and distribute it all over the face I love 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 this brush and their single brushes are around nine to ten dollars so this is how much this one costs I just have one more kit left this is their starter set if you want some really great eye brushes or you just want to get your collection started with some eye brushes or you need some eye brushes but you don't know where to look, go with this kit. Amazing. I use every single one of these and I achieve this whole look just with these brushes. It's so easy. They're also easy to use. So let's start off with the first one. This is the Deluxe Crease Brush. This is such a perfect uh crease brush it's dense enough to get those colors right in that crease i like to even define my eyes with this it's a perfect perfect brush next is the base shadow brush i love 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 this for applying eyeshadow it packs it on beautifully it feels so nice and it's the perfect size to do your whole lid even if you have small or big eyes this is the perfect brush depends what you want you can pack it on with it or you can just glide it on to get that nice look I think that brush is perfect for glitter eyeshadow as well or matte eyeshadow it kind of does it all the next brush is the accent brush I keep getting smaller and smaller this brush is what I used when I want to smudge a color out under my eye which is what I did today and it does the job perfectly it smudges it and because it's so small I can get really close to the lash line and I got the job done next is the fine liner brush um this I haven't use that much it's not a bad brush you can definitely line with these um but i haven't used it too much to really tell my opinion on it as you can see it's pretty fine um but i i i like it this brush here is the brow brush now i really do like this brush for kind of doing my brows um and smudging color out throughout them this brush a lot started kit I would really recommend you get five brushes for the $20 so usually their kits are around $20 and each brush is $10 the sponge is around $8 so yeah um, you can also get the sponge in a two kit so that's $11 so these are all the brushes I have to share with you guys um, I honestly think they are so well made for the price the colors are gorgeous like I just love displaying this metal color um, in my room and I just think they're such nice brushes I recommend every single one of them and um, tell me down below which brushes I did not mention and which ones I should try because I'm really wanting to try more of these because I had such success and these worked out so well for me I want to try more if you're looking for a great drugstore brand that will put on your like apply your makeup just like high-end brushes 
go with these. I highly, 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 highly recommend them. My new, like, fave go-to brushes. Um, the sponge I absolutely recommend, and I will do a full video just on this sponge showing you how I apply my makeup with it and everything like that. So I highly recommend these. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, remember to subscribe and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment what you'd like to see next and don't forget to comment what other brushes I should try from the brand or any other brushes from a different brand. I love trying out brushes. Just comment that all down below. I'd love to know and I will see you in my next video. Bye!